Hey guys, welcome to the video. Hope you're doing well. So in this video, we are going to talk about a Go High Level workflow action called Edit Conversation. So this is a really simple Go High Level workflow action, and this is really useful if you know how to use it, and then you can use it on your own system, on your own workflows. And uh, yeah, let's see how it works. So let's go to automations. And uh, like always, if you've seen any of my other Go High Level workflow action video, um, I start off with a use case. So let's start off with the use case. Let's say you are running emails campaigns or you've just sent an email. You've sent an email to your list and then you want to see those who positively reply. You want to talk to them, right? Those who reply negatively, you want to mark as read or archive the conversation or something. So that's where edit conversation action comes in. So for example, let me uh, just name this workflow. So this is one of my uh, new workflows I'm creating. And then I'm checking if uh, uh, replied. So I'm just doing customer replied. So let's just first see reply channel. So let's work with email only. So you've sent an email, any email that comes in, if you know any email that comes into your account, if the intent for that email is negative, what I want to do is I want to edit that conversation. So they replied, obviously it ended up in the conversations area. And now I want to, for example, I want to mark as read because I don't want to see it under unread i just want to, to see the messages the emails that matter you know put it that way so uh, if you want to archive that or unarchive that i would really ar archive that conversation you know i don't want if if i don't want to see that or i just hit none and then i save it so these are the two options you get with edit conversation right so if you just do none it's not gonna unarchive or archive it it's just gonna put it like that and publish and save one more way you could do that is if I delete this trigger and send an email so this will be the email where you are asking to asking your list to do something for example a uh, new offer and then this will be your email body you know just type your email and then uh, reply yes if you are interested do let us know if you are not at the moment so if they reply negatively to this email what I can do is I can just check I could just do um, contact reply to email that's the email and I'll just doing a uh, wait for email I would put a time timeout as well for one day so we are checking for one day if the person if the people who I'm sending this email to, they respond to this email. And then when they respond, I can do one more thing saying if, and here I'll just do uh, contact reply. Intent type is negative. All right, so if the intent type is negative, then I want to edit the conversation. And none, if it's none, then it's positive, definitely positive, because if it's negative, then it will go through this branch. Anything else will go through none branch. That's how it works, right? So I'll just do condition, that's it. So first of all, we wait for the email reply, and then when they reply, we check if the intent was negative or positive. If it's negative, we mark the conversation as read. If it's negative, then we copy and we mark the, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but you know, because if a reply comes, it's going to be unread anyway by default. So you don't have to uh, edit this. So edit the conversation. So, you know, just keep it that way. And maybe you can send yourself a, an internal notification like this. So, uh, you know, uh, then you can just send it to assigned user. And then I'll say has replied to your email. And then save it so this will go as a notification to yourself that that this person has replied positively so that's how you can use this edit conversation just to keep your conversations area really uh simple and uh clean so yeah that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.